Hey guys, it's Bryce. Thank you so much for helping us out this year with Bricktown Throwdown and volunteering to judge. Uh, we're going to go over the factorial workout that's going to be out on the hill. SV is going to be your head judge out there. I need you to make sure that you wear, you know, this is the only one that's going to be really out in the sun, right? Because it's Saturday uh, afternoon slash evening. So wear a hat, sunscreen. We're going to have water and stuff for you guys. Talk to Natalie if you need any like Gatorade or different things. She's going to be one to help you guys out. Um, let's go over the logistics of this workout and how you're going to judge it. So it's going to start with all athletes behind their station and they'll be in the grass off of the sidewalk. So they'll all be behind the sidewalk. All right, three, two, one, go. One athlete's going to move to the bag. One athlete's moving to the skier. So the workout is two scores, and this all makes sense in the scorecard. One of the scores, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, factorial, right? Sandbag cleans with a sprint in between rounds. One score is the calorie ski all by itself. So the rule here with the sandbag cleans is once you start a round, you have to do that whole round. So if SB, he's starting this round of 10, he has to do all 10 and he has to do the run and then he can tag me in or he can go right into the set of nine. But because he started the set of 10, he's got to finish it. So with the sandbag clean, what we're looking for is the sandbag to touch the ground and then to get to shoulder, we're going to show control by taking one hand off. Now you don't have to like throw it out completely or anything, but you do have to take it off the bag. So let's watch him do like three in a row which is going to be kind of like a high speed style. He'll just take his hand off at the top. He's showing that he has control of that bag on the shoulder. Those are all good sandbag cleans. Some people are going to do singles where they'll reset every time. That's fine. It'll be a little bit easier for you guys to judge that, but still they're going to take that hand off at the top. And I would remind them of that. And I would only get count them the number, you know, count your three, four, whenever that hand is off the bag. All right. After his 10, He's going to take off running around that lane marker. That's going to be up the hill. It'll be really easy for you to see it. He'll come back, most likely tag in the partner, and then now set of nine, and then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. At any point, they can switch out with this person on the skier. So that could happen at any time. It could be right after the run. They could switch back and forth. One person could stay on the skier the whole time. They can do that however they want to do it, and there's just going to be calories counting up. So with your stopwatch, you're going to annotate the time when they, you know, the last sandbag clean, run around the cone, the athlete gets back to the starting mat, boom, that's going to be that time. At that point, which will probably be under the 12 minute mark, all three athletes can now cycle through the skier until that 12 minute cap. So this can happen now with three people just going crazy on the skier. We are going to ask, and you're going to have to you know, really be on them about this, that they don't let the handles just flop up to the top, right? That we try to hand them off or reset them just to make sure the skiers don't get broken in the middle of the competition. Anything else you want to add to that, Jared? Yeah, I was watching some of, getting here, I was watching some of our guys try to go fast on this, and they weren't locking out their knees just like a push chair. Yeah, they were, then they were going right back, right back down. They were going really fast, but not locking out the knees. So make sure you're watching that. I didn't really noticed that would be a thing, but they were still putting their hand off of it. Okay, not but not having their knees out. So they're, we're standing all the way at the top of it, and we'll make sure we talk about that in the athlete briefing also. Cool. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you all Saturday at 4 o'clock. Everybody point. Yeah. <laughs>